Welcome back to the shop everyone. Been a long couple of weeks. We've made a lot of progress on a few projects here, but tonight we're going to do something a little fun. We're going to try to start the twin supercharged engine. I did a bunch of uh, small stuff on it over the last couple of weeks. Finished welding up the bottom of the intake, removed all the pulleys and all that stuff, got everything trimmed down, ready to go, got a coat of flat black rust-oleum on everything and basically reassembled everything, glued the intake back on the engine, made some gaskets for the bottom of the blower plates and all that stuff, and we are pretty much ready to see if this thing's gonna run, and we're gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna lower this thing down on the ground. I already have a battery cable and a ground cable on it, and I crudely hooked up the fuel line to the bent up, bent up original fuel lines coming up there. Up there, there's a couple kinks in them and stuff, but I'm not really worried about it. And last night, we threw on the glass packs also very crudely with no gaskets and didn't even hook the hangers up because all this stuff is going to go anyway. Might reuse the glass packs, not sure, but we're going to try to get this stuff out the back and try to do the organ pipes on the rear quarter panels to make it look like the Mad Max car when we get that far. But for right now, let's lower this thing down, see if we can get some fuel up to the carburetor. I have to put a coil wire on yet and a solenoid trigger wire and hook my boost gauge on the back of the intake yet, which I just got the other day that's sitting on the shelf over there. And we're gonna see if this thing starts. All right, so as you can see, everything's sitting here ready to go. I have my fuel line, like I said, crudely hooked up just to see if we can get some gas up here and if it runs. Got my hot cable and my ground cable here. We're just gonna toss a battery up here with no tray in it. And I'm gonna run a jumper wire off the starter and off the distributor. Put the distributor in last night, it should be really close to zero, pretty much right on the head, might have to throw a little advance at it, and we did prime the oil pressure already and rotate the motor over, so everything should be pre-lubed in it, and we filled the superchargers with their oil, made the cork gaskets like I said earlier, so all this stuff should be ready to roll, there is actually a little fuel in the carburetor right now too, um, so maybe it'll start right away, not really sure. One thing you might notice is I did not move the tensioner. I'm going to give it a whirl. If I have to move it, I can move it just as easily in the car. But one reason I didn't move it was, I mean, that was going to be basically a total redesign. Pull this stuff off, throw it in the garbage, and start over because I was monkeying around with trying to put that on the bottom over here. And really, there's going to be no way to do that unless I move the alternator over there and pretty much swap the whole setup side to side mirror image. So we're going to fire it up and, and see what happens. See if it launches the belt, see how it tracks. Let's just see. Maybe it'll be all right. Everyone seems to think it's going to fall off. I'm not really sure. In theory, it probably will jump the belt, but we're going to try it. And we're going to figure all that out here tonight. So I'm going to grab a few wires, get them hooked up to the distributor and the starter, see if this thing cranks over first of all, and uh, let's put a little fuel and spark to it and see what happens. I'll we'll get our little red solenoid wire down on that terminal and see if she cranks. Should be it. I'm gonna grab a battery here and get everything hooked up. Green wire is my HEI distributor and the red one should roll it over. We'll roll it over first to make sure we got fuel at the carb and see what happens. Alright, well that pretty much should be it. I'm gonna give it a tap on the solenoid and see if it rolls over. See if the belt jumps off immediately or if it's actually gonna stay on long enough to start it. Seems pretty good. Well, the belt looks like it tracks pretty good. Pull the air cleaner and see if we got fuel. Oh yeah. Like I said, I think there was some fuel in the carb already because it just came off something running, but uh, Hopefully it pumps up from the tank what's left in there. Boost gauge. Hook the boost gauge up quick. And we should be good to go after that. Alright guys, this is pretty much it right here. It's going to work or it's not, or it's going to chuck the belt or, or not work at all. So I'm going to hook this coil wire up and we're going to crank this thing over. I got my fuel up to the top. Give it a few shots here and um, we're going to roll it over and see what happens. 
And I think I'm going to find some safety glasses just in case I don't want to get hit in the face with a belt. Alright, here we go. Got my safety glasses on. Coil is hooked up. A few shots of gas. Oil in the blowers, oil in the motor. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm thinking that fired already, or kicked back. <laughs> oh my god. I better go look at the oil pressure real quick. Yeah, we got about 80 pounds of oil pressure cold. Man, that thing idles perfect. Running about. Wow. Only two pounds vacuum. Unbelievable, fired right up like that. Look at the thing rock. Well, let's take a look at this belt, see if it revs up. Holy crap, guys. Tensioner is moving quite a bit. But the belt seems to be staying on. You guys see that belt over there moving? That's going to be where it's going to jump in the future. Unbelievable. Still 80 pounds of oil. I don't have any coolant in it, so we can't run it too long, but... That is awesome. Probably warmed up good enough to rev it up a little now. Let's take a look and see if it actually cracks boost. So idling, we're making... We're about two pounds of vacuum. Five. Yeah, that was over five right there. Oh, that's all a six for sure, guys. Unbelievable. Set her down before it overheats. I don't even know what to say. That thing fired right up with pretty much no hesitation whatsoever. Probably pumped the throttle about five times. Hit the solenoid and bang, it fired right up. Man, it even idles good. The throttle response is amazing on it too. I don't want to hammer on it too much with no coolant stuff in it, but that is unbelievable. It's actually going to work. The belt, however... I did see what you guys were talking about. The belt is rolling a little bit when you lift on the throttle. And it seemed like it tracks straight on this one and the tensioner. Just here, it's rolling a little forward and back right away. Didn't jump it. I really should move that over here, but maybe maybe we'll get a different pulley with, with some keepers on it or, or weld a washer on the front or something. But anyway, unbelievable. That thing runs awesome. As you can tell, I put the noisy timing gear in there. I probably ought to listen to the superchargers a little more, but man, does that run good. Saw six pounds of boost. I would say, yeah, probably about six pounds of boost, revving it up. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. I can't believe that actually was that easy to start. I, 
I really thought there'd be a lot more problems than that. I, I know we're probably around five degrees base timing on that HEI distributor, but I pumped that thing probably three or four times, maybe maybe five or six to see if there was fuel. And it literally fired as soon as I hit the starter. Unbelievable. The belt thing, uh, yeah, I, I really should have moved that tensioner, but I, to be honest with you, it, it pulled six pounds of boost on the gauge, so I, I don't know how much belt slip is actually there. Maybe it'd be a lot more. Maybe it is slipping, but um, as tight as this belt is on here, I, I personally think I'm either going to get a different pulley over here with some ribs on it to keep the belt from jumping, or, or like I said, I'll just plasma cut a ring out, take weld it on there, and it'll just keep the belt from hopping when you lift the throttle. But other than that, boy, that is unbelievable. Six pounds of boost we saw today, and I, I don't think I even hit the four barrel, so I am super stoked. Guys, I'm going to get going on this thing start putting the new master cylinder on, the fuel lines, the proportioning valve, getting all that stuff done, rerunning the fuel lines on it and getting everything ready because we need to get this thing out and see what it actually can do. Throttle response, amazing. I, I'm super stoked. The whole car rocks like crazy. And it seems to run really good with no tuning on it whatsoever. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to keep working on this stuff. Let's get this thing hit in the street shortly and, and see what this thing will actually do. Like you guys know, if you were watching, bottom end is a completely stock 120,000 mile Vortec truck motor with open chambered swirl port heads. And um, I don't think it's going to last too long. Six pounds is already up there. I am kind of surprised. I thought it might have been a lot more than that with two of these. But uh, if it holds six and just makes six all the time, that would be... Actually, it'd be pretty streetable. It'd be great. So, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to get on this within the next couple days and try to hit the streets with this. Really appreciate you watching. I'm super stoked about it. Till next time. <laughs> and, and we have a big gaping hole in our hood.